Good morning. Today is the second day of the conference. I woke up with a really splitting headache and I was like not wanting to get out of bed, but I was like, if I don't get out of bed, it's going to get worse. So I got myself out and showered and I was able to order Starbucks on the app and just pick it up real quick. So I'm going to quickly drink my coffee, quickly get ready. I'm already dressed. I just need to quickly do my hair and makeup. My hair is a little... My hair's a little off today. It's like frizzy. I don't know what happened. Um, but then I'll be back at the check-in table. And yeah, for the most part, a lot of people are checked in. So I just checked in with everybody and they're like, we already have a lot of help in the front. So I think we're, we'll be okay. But today's sort of a shorter day because we're going to be exploring more of this gorgeous site. Wait, I don't know if I can turn. No, I can't turn the camera. I can only do that. And um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Um, it's up to my good friends to let me know where they wanna go after we finish working. So we'll, I'll keep you posted. All right, so I'm done getting ready and I'm about to take two Excedrins for my head. I feel a lot better. I think I just needed to eat something and have coffee and I started feeling a lot better even after my shower. So, I'm gonna take two Excedrins and then I'm gonna head back downstairs. Look at Michelle, she's all like Phi Alpha Theta colors. Very cute. There's one bulb not working. <laughs> Oh, I see it now. Oh, wait, wait, yeah. it's right. Hold on. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. It's right there. Yeah. Guys, this is the man of the hour. Right there. Him. He made it all possible. Food doesn't taste right in planes. The higher up you go, the, the less sensitive you taste like yes. It's true. <laughs> this will vindicate me. Uh, for the nuclear science, for the, the nuclear museum, 
National Museum of Nuclear History and Science and History. Uh, some damn name is right. I never get it right first. But I have 30 tickets. The best thing about this is there's a there's an address on the back, so you can get an Uber to go there. Uh, this this museum closes. The I design those. Good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> a little update um we finished lunch and the presentation and i think we're all gonna go to the nuclear museum um and we are probably gonna have dinner around 5 30 and that's because um the president of file for data wants to take us out to dinner because at eight o'clock we have sort of like um like a reception kind of thing it's nothing fancy um, I'll probably go for a little bit, but then after that, I'm probably going to come back to my suite because I'm tired. Not as tired as I was this morning. I don't know what, like, lifted me up, but I think it was good that I had my coffee. I ate, I showered, I took two Excedrins, and then I went, you know, to work. But I'm feeling fine now. I'm feeling better. Um, I'm not as tired as Michelle. Michelle is really, really tired. Um, but she still wants to go out, so we're going to go out in a few. We're going to catch an Uber and, and head out to the museum. So, see you in a few.
up. What are we doing? <laughs> that sounded really static. It was. <laughs> I love how the Phi Alpha Theta workers are just yeah, now all the other on the playground. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm going to get some stuff. Alright, so we came to the nuclear museum. And we will probably head outside soon. little one. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Following the end of World War II, relations deteriorated quickly between the United States and the U.S.S.R. One time allies against the Nazis. This would come to be known as the Cold War. The division of Europe after the war had pitted the Western allies and the Soviets against one another. This was the end of the
so literally just walking around this museum and looking at all of this i don't know why that spongebob episode is playing in my mind and it's patrick like saying like like that right there it's like touch he's like don't touch touch don't touch <laughs> It's nicknamed the, the Super Fortress, was the improvement over the second game. And it was meant to be the high altitude, long range super bomber where it would take a pink leg and just fly circles. Like my grandfather used to serve with some of these in communication. They would take off and constantly stay in the air when they needed to land. Another you one could just record him. These are doses. I am. I'm like, <laughs> Cassidy knows it all. Like, he's the tour guide here. He He's got all the answers. <laughs> Firing like this big. Right. So yeah. hitting there is a pretty devastating strike. That's insane. But those guns are about as strong or stronger than usually the ones mounted on the fighters because they can't carry the heavier weapons to do the same damage. Right. At some time. They were considered the most advanced piece of technology at the time. I know. Isn't that crazy? That's a gun. That's to launch it so they could test some of the ordnance as if it was fired. Little update. We're back in the hotel. We're going to go find a place to eat for dinner and... Yeah, my phone is about to die, so I'm charging it on the portable charger. I highly recommended this place, but I didn't know how, how it works. Yeah. It's a, no, it's not a it's not a picture. It's a video. Oh. It's for the YouTube. The YouTube. Oh, what you I'm the only one that got my food because I went to the place with no line. Well, we were the only line in that place. Yeah. We made the line. We were the line. Also, I got into the, your line and it still came out. So and then you should look at yours, like that. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. mine. Really yummy. Show the merch. Then, yeah. Oh, show yeah. us the merch. Represent. Represent. <laughs> Everywhere, even on the streets. Special oh, okay, you got the merch too. Oh, and there's a moon over there. Did you show the moon? Yeah, I'm showing the moon right now. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Who is safe? Who is safe? <laughs> <laughs> we're not even drinking. No, we're not. <laughs> it's root beer. It's just root beer. Oh, it's root beer. You're, get, you're getting farther away from the mouth. Did you not see where she went? Did you see where the zone could be? I'm gonna find it. Higher up, baby, baby. <laughs> At the crest of your crest of your lip, there. Stop, stop reaching it away. Whoa. <laughs> That's it. That's all I got. Looks like you were ever like. <laughs> all right, guys. I just got back home. Home. <laughs> My room from dinner. We really had a good time. It's really cold outside. It's 39 degrees. I've been in that kind of weather before in, uh, what do you call it? I can't think of it. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm right there. I'm like so tired, but I have a thing I have to go after like a, like a little ceremony, um, like a mingle thing and I'm just tired. But I was saying I've been in 39 degree weather in Texas it was cold, but not as cold as it is here. And I don't know if it's because of the mountains. So I'm gonna be here for a little bit. I'm gonna reapply my lipstick. Um, and I don't know how long I'll stay over there for that little ceremony. What's really funny is that the ceremony is right next to my room. So, <laughs> I can't be late, but the one thing I am going to do, I'm going to keep this on, but I'm going to take out the long sleeve shirt because I'm kind of getting hot. I'm going to keep the that on. I think I might put on my boots and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So 
I I don't know if I'll record that or if I can record that, but yeah, it's been a really, really long day. And for some reason, I was more exhausted yesterday than I was today, but I'll take it. And my goal is to try to go to bed early tonight. So I'm going to try to do that. And yeah, tomorrow's another day, a new day. So... Alright, so the four of us are sitting at this table and this is the kids' table because we're on track. I have to do something.